Welcome to Radiant Shanti. Today we're going to be focusing on Qigong, acupressure massage, and meditation for breast health. We've received several requests for women's health topics in our videos, and this will be the first in that series. Gentlemen can also benefit from the moves, but the specific movements and massage acupressure points are designed specifically for the topic. So today, the movements are geared towards breast health, making sure that you have proper blood flow and chi to the breast to stave off any problems or cancers that might come to this area. The information comes from Dr. Zhang Yifong in Shanghai, and as always, we are in such um, debt and in su feel such gratitude for her expertise as one of our advisors. Let's come into our space. Inhale your hands out and up to the side. Exhale, bring them down through center. Let's repeat, inhaling out and up and exhaling, drawing them down. One of the most important factors in breast health is reducing your stress, calming your mind, being in the present moment. Stress has many negative effects on our body and poor breast health is one of the effects. We're going to go ahead now and do some spinal cord breathing opening the chest and in particular opening and massaging the lung points as well as the meridian points right right along the, the front of the body is really important to do this bring your arms into cactus arms your elbows are at shoulder height you're going to inhale and look up gently move your head back as you lift your chin up Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. And then bring your elbows towards each other as you gently tuck the tailbone, tuck your chin and curl in. Inhale, open, squeezing behind you. Exhale and curl. This wonderful self-massage of these key meridian points opens up the blood flow to your breast and to the chest area in general, strengthening your heart and clearing your lungs. Those are all super important for your breast health. Feel your body relax, your mind let go. Try and inhale as you gaze up. Exhale as you curl, really tucking the chin in, releasing and opening your body. We're going to do two more here. Inhaling, opening, and exhale, curl. Bring your hands down by your sides, and we're going to start knocking on the body. You're um, kidney points, your gallbladder points, um, stomach and your spleen are really important as well as your lungs. So what this does is this starts warming up the body so chi can flow through and reach all parts of the body, including the breast, for better health. Now though, we're going to bring the hands and pat firmly just below the collarbone. You can make a nice loose fist, so a very loose fist, and you're gonna knock right below the collarbone. This is Zhang Fu point, or lung one. Massaging and knocking on this point is an important step in, in this breast health series. So really pat firmly and feel your body open and release. Just nice and relaxed. You can even get a little bend in your knees each time. Your feet should be nice and firmly planted in the ground with a little extra weight in your heels. And we're gonna come back down and knock on the lower part. 
just for a few. And then we're gonna come up and knock over the shoulders on a gallbladder point. So coming up and knocking on the shoulder, really feeling that energy coming in, opening up. The gallbladder is very important for helping the body remove toxins. The liver is super connected to the mammary glands and really important um, relationship between the breast and the liver. And the gallbladder and liver are um, repaired organs. So this is really great for both. And let's come down and knock low again, just nice and easy. Slow down and release. You can feel that kind of buzzing, tingling sensation that lets you know you're getting your chi moving. We're now going to take your middle finger and you're going to put the right middle finger on the right side and the left middle finger on the left, just under the collarbone. We're going back to that Jung Fu point, that lung one we just knocked on. And we're going to do nice, easy circles. The middle finger is the pericardium, that protecting layer around the heart. And this helps calm the mind. The lung um, is, can be very active and it relates to grief and sorrow. So you kind of have the heart's joy offsetting the lung's sorrow, which can release stress. And massaging here also makes an important opening for the lungs, which helps support breast health. Breathe deeply here and just massage. Now go the other direction. Just massage gently. The ideal is at least 20 seconds when you're doing this massage point. You can do one side at a time if that's easier for you, or you can massage both like we are here. And release. We're now going to open up and do some padding under the arms. Really hit firmly under the armpit. This is an important heart meridian point. It stimulates blood flow, clears the lymph nodes, and helps that lymph drainage here, which can dramatically affect the breast. Just a few more seconds. And now to the other side, really pat firmly. You should hear a nice sound. You don't wanna hurt or bruise yourself, but you want to really feel that you're stimulating this meridian point. We're patting for about 30 seconds, but again, you can do about 20, that'll be fine. A nice movement, we have got about five seconds left. Nice deep breathing, releases and opens the lines of tension. Great. We're going to come back again and open the chest another time, doing some more spinal cord breathing. This time, however, we're going to turn to the side as we open and inhale, and then we exhale as we come back to center. Inhale, open to the side, exhale, turn. We're stimulating the Ren point again, that um, meridian point right in between the breasts on the chest. Inhale, exhale and curl. Good, and release. We're going to go ahead for a moment and just do some standing with our hands, bring your hands down. So the backs of your hands are facing forward and you're going to just really stretch and reach them to the ground. We're then gonna drop the ear to the shoulder, either way is fine. And just let them hang for a moment. We're releasing and allowing blood to flow 
to the gallbladder point up at the top of the shoulder, releasing and opening up some stomach points on the neck, which is super important, allowing that chi and blood to flow along these energy lines in your body. Think of meridians like electrical lines in your home. And when you turn on your light switch, you want it to go on. But if there's something wrong with the circuit, it won't go on. So this is making sure your lights, your energy is working. Come up to center and drop your head to the other shoulder. Breathe deeply, inhaling and exhaling, nice deep breaths. With each inhale, reach your fingers towards the ground and with each exhale, let your ear fall towards the shoulder. Relaxing your mind is so important. We'll be ending with a little meditation to, to help that. Make sure you're breathing. And release. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to um, right in between, um, draw center point between your nipples, come right along the front part of your chest here, along right in the inner part, and you're going to massage. You're going to go ahead and press firmly, not so hard that you bruise, but you want to press firmly. We're going to go 20 seconds clockwise and then 20 seconds counterclockwise. Let's begin. Pushing firmly, really feel that you might be tender there. A lot of people are very tender in this point. Check that your spine is reaching up. That your feet are grounded, a little bit of extra weight in the heels. Now let's go the other direction. Breathing as you massage. This is something you should do every morning before you get out of bed. Just a wonderful health practice that will keep um, be one of those steps towards breast health. Really wonderful. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and do padding on the legs. We talked about the kidneys, gallbladder, stomach, and spleen all being really important for your breast health. Well, large sections of these meridians, these channels run up and down your legs. We're gonna begin by going ahead and patting down the outside of the legs on the gallbladder, really pat firmly, and then pat, come back up, patting very firmly on the outside of your legs. We'll do that two more times out of here. Really hitting, try and don't miss any spots. Make sure that you're patting everywhere along the leg. Last one, really pat, 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 and come up. Now we're going to go ahead and pat up and down the inside of the leg. Um, you can keep your hand flat or here, I find it's easier to make a nice loose fist and really pat firmly along the kidney and spleen points here. And liver, we're hitting all three in this section. Let your head hang heavy and relax as you come forward, pull forward. Last one and coming back up. And now we'll hit the stomach points, patting down the tops of the legs, tops of the knees, and then just along the outside of the shin, just to the outside of the bone. Patting down, let your head hang heavy. Patting back up, we'll do one more. And release, good. We're going to go ahead and do a centering move before we go into our short meditation. Bring both hands just in front of your lower abdomen, palms facing up. Inhale, gaze out over one hand as it comes up and over. And then you're going to draw it straight down through center, palm facing the opposite wall. Inhale up. Exhale down, we're centering this wonderful conception vessel energy, and governing vessel energy. These help your reproductive organs as well. 
has contribute to this movement of energy for breast health again. We'll do one more each side. Last one. Step your feet together and place your hands right on your, like behind and below, like right on the navel and down and inhale. Exhale, do one more breath. Inhale, close your eyes, just relax. And exhale. You can grab a seat on the floor or if you have a chair or a poof, or you can lay down on the floor for this meditation. It's called the three lines meditation. And this is going to help calm your mind and just center your energy and bring it down, letting go of tension. So get comfortable, close your eyes. You can have your palms face down on your thighs or in, you know, on, on your lap, the palms facing up, one hand on the other. And just take a nice deep breath in and exhale out. And with your next inhale, Bring your mind's eye to the top of your head. Focus your energy as you imagine a pool of calm, still water. The water runs deep. The surface is like glass. And as you watch a pebble drops in the pond and water begins to ripple out and flow down the front of your face, down your forehead, your eyes, your cheeks. It pools on your upper lip and on your chin and then continues to run down under your jawline and neck down the fronts of your shoulders and chest, down your arms, the tops and the insides of your arms, out your hands, and out each and every one of your fingers. You see it moving down the front of your torso, over the tops of your thighs, over your knees, down your shins, the tops of your feet, and out each and every one of your toes. And you see the water continuing to flow off your big toe. And you breathe deeply and continue to watch the water rippling down the front of your body. If your mind wanders, bring it back to the water flowing. With your next inhale, your mind's eye comes back to the top of your head and the pool of water. The water runs deep. It is clear and the surface of the pond is like glass. You see a pebble drop into this pool of water and ripple out and down the sides of your head, down the sides of your neck, over the tops of your shoulders, down your arms, and out each and every finger. And you focus on the water continuing to flow off your index finger, rippling from the top of your head all the way down and out the finger. 
and you continue to breathe deeply and relaxed. And you bring your attention once again to the pool of water at the center of the top of your head. The water is clear and deep. The surface is calm. A pebble drops into the pond and water ripples down and out back of your neck and head, down the back of your shoulders, all down your middle and lower back, down the backs of your thighs and calves, down your ankles, along the bottom of your feet, and out each and every one of your toes. And you see the water now flowing out the middle of your bottom of your foot, flowing into the earth, carrying any last little bit of tension away into the earth to be recycled and renewed. You just watch this flow of water down the back of your body and out the bottoms of your feet. And now we'll take two last deep abdominal breaths together. Inhale. Filling up, letting your abdomen poof out. Hold at the top of your breath. And then exhale. Nice and slow, squeezing in your lower abdomen on the exhale at the very end. One more breath, inhale. And exhale out any last tension. Feel your body just melt down and relax. Flutter your eyes open. Thank you for the opportunity to work with you on your breast health. And remember, calming your mind and de-stressing is the best gift you can give yourself for your overall health. So hopefully you felt you feel re-energized, you feel calm, and I'll see you in another class soon with Radiant Shanti.